Consider for just a moment the benefits of owning fewer clothes. You would have more disposable income available to you. You would have less stress in the morning getting ready. Your closets would be well organized. Packing would be easier. Laundry would be easier. You would have more time and energy to live the life that you wanted to be living. Unfortunately, most people don't see this to be the case. And so the typical American family spends $2,000 a year on clothing. Americans throw away 13 million tons of textiles each year. This is 9% of non-recycled waste. So how do we begin owning fewer clothes? Well, I have five tips for you. Number one, decide that you want to own fewer clothes, that you can't be dragged into this decision, that you see the benefits of it, you desire it to be true in your life and in your closet. So make that decision today. The second tip is to choose quality over quantity. It's actually one of the greatest unforeseen benefits of minimalism or owning less. That if you're gonna own fewer clothes, it means you can own nicer clothes, the ones you want to be owning instead. Which then leads me to the third tip to owning fewer clothes. Embrace the idea of one. Embrace the idea of keeping just your favorites, your favorite belt, your favorite coat, your favorite pair of shoes, your favorite sweaters, your favorite pairs of pants. You don't have to own a lot. Own just a few of your favorite things. One of the benefits then is when you open up the closet, everything hanging there is your favorite. A fourth tip on how to own fewer clothes is wear fewer colors. The reality is there tend to be a few colors that we like more anyway, that we look best in. And so just embrace this idea. Don't see it as a constraining reality, but instead a liberating reality to just own and wear those colors more. Why not if you look better in them anyway? The fifth tip is to be happy and content and embrace your personal style. Those people that we look up to who are most iconic in fashion tend to have their own personal style as opposed to scattering from one to another. Henry David Thoreau said it this way, every generation laughs at the old fashions but religiously follows the new. Be content with your style. Enjoy it and make it a part of who you are. With those tips, begin to tackle the clothes in your closet, donating, recycling, discarding. Set an amount, maybe you want to get rid of a third, maybe you want to get rid of a half. Make that decision and go for it. You'll love owning fewer clothes, trust me.